This is the Tina 2 mini 3D printer that was sent to me by Antina. Now they aren't sponsoring the video here for today, but they did send the product for free for me to review. One of the first things that I noticed about this 3D printer was just how small it was. Even though the build play was pretty small, I've been able to make some cool stuff out of it. Now, while this 3D printer is pretty basic, um, it's got an auto bed leveling feature, which is really awesome. As of now, the 3D printer really hasn't failed me at all. It hasn't made many errors. So far, everything looks really good. I've been using their slicer called Wii Builder 2 and everything seems to be working great for it. It's been tuned in pretty well for this 3D printer. One of the first things that I wanted to try to make on this 3D printer was something small. I tested it out at first with the little ring cat that comes in stock with everything. Although I don't have it anymore, I gave it to my girlfriend, so I can't really show you guys how it came out, but the layer lines were very thin. I had it set up to a 0.1 layer line and everything came out looking good. Now to this point, I was using the filament that came with the 3D printer. They came with a little small amount to sample the 3D printer and it so far was working well. And so I got cocky and I decided to try to make a big print. So I try to make this Iron Man bust. I try to make the head of him and I got halfway done and then I ran out of filament. So I had to buy some new ones. But up to that point, everything seems to be looking good. The details were great, except for the top where I added some supports and it came out to look a little bit ugly. One of the first things that I tried to make on this were these Air Jordan 3s retros. It's a small little keychain that I thought my friend would like and it came out looking pretty good. The details on it were pretty good and the layer lines were once again visible, but it's what you expect from a 3D print. And then I also made this whistle, which came out looking really good. I made this tiny kettlebell. I also made this articulated dragon, which is really cool. It looks really awesome looks great although it is really small so my only complaint so far for this 3d printer is the limitations you have with the build plate size so my final thoughts are that this printer really is worth it i really do think that for its price point it's a great starting 3d printer i learned a lot for it being my first 3d printer and i can't wait to get a second one that is much bigger other than the size though it's a great 3D printer. Everything looks great and I think it's definitely worth it. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.